Hopefully you can see me. Oh, I've got the reshoot. Um, but we have a new cryptid crate. I'm trying something new. They got this QR reader, so I'm going to try that for the first time in my life. All right, let's get this set up. Let's go. Got it all set up here. As you can see, it takes you to the website. Um, it lists all the items there. All right, so the first thing we have is Monsters Among Us uh, podcast backpack. Um, that's item number one. Uh, this uh, backpack is entired by Data's uh, pack in the classic film The Goonies. Artwork is by Eerie Eric. Well, this is really cool. It's got you know the big pouch. It's got the outside pocket. Um, let's see, we've got. Mothman, the Mirrored Men, Alien, Bigfoot. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else do we got? Next we have ooh, Cryptid Dice. Let's see what those are. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Oh, these are neat. Yeah, I'm outside, so. Oh, these are so cool. Look, we've got this, uh, like, like, triple uh, dots and it's got messy on it. We've got, ooh, yellow and red with silver, and it's got the Jersey Devil for the number six. Um, we've got green with Bigfoot. Ooh, and then probably the coolest one. We've got silver with some, uh, smoke-like coloring in there, and it's got the Wendigo. I don't know if you can see that. That's really cool. That's super awesome. I don't play a lot of dice games, but now I guess I'll have to. That's super cool. Um, that's worth $15. Uh, you can buy that from Box Mountain LLC, uh, sorry, mid-August. Ooh, this is the second cryptid thing I've got for this. This is a, a plushie, and it's a Fresno Nightcrawler. Look at that. Um, cr cryptid comfort. So I actually, uh, my first cryptid crate, no, my second cry cryptid crate ever came with a pennant that goes in the dark. So this is really cool. This is really soft. Um, uh, $15 value, handmade with fleece and felt eyes and stuff with polyfill. Um, they're each drawn by hand and then cut out so no two are identical that's super super awesome all right up next is oh fresno nightcrawler pin that's really cool um it's uh, it says the star um cryptid coven uh instagram at cryptid coven um, this one is worth, uh, $15, um, it's actually a successful Kickstarter campaign, so I know that, so this is cool, I don't know where I'm going to put this, I don't want to lose this, and part of me thinks I might put it on my vest with my carp, uh, carp pins, that's really, really cool. Um, up next is... What is up next?
should be. I'll bet you it's in here. Yes, it's in here. Fresno Nightcrawler sticker. That's really cool. It actually kind of reminds me a bit of uh, of the Undertale drawings my son has shown me. But that's really cool. I like the artwork on there. Who's this by? This is by Blank Face Studio. Um, a, a guy named Spencer Schultz, exclusively for Cryptid Crate. So that's really really cool. Um, makes me wish I could draw. I can't draw <laughs> at all. Um, but that's super cool. That's going on the bait bucket for sure. Um, Fresno Nightcrawler cookie cutter. I am I'm detecting a theme here finally. That's cool. I've got another one. I think it's Mothman. I had a had this horror of Grafton, but it got washed by mistake and so it melted. Um, but I can't wait to make uh, some shortbread cookies with this. That's really cool. I'll be able to make like come Halloween, I can make some monster cookies. It'll be super cool. Remember, hand wash. Learn that the hard way. Um, Okay, and then here's the last thing. Um, it's a book. Um, the Cryptid Catcher um, by Leisha Fisher. Um, here's to the back. After Clavo Wren's archaeologist father dies mysteriously, the newly orphaned 13 year old finds out the truth. His dad was actually a cryptid catcher, uh, known for tracking the elusive beasts like the blood sucking chupacabra. Um, This should be pretty cool. Um, this will definitely be something I'll read with my with my son. Autographed. Autograph, that's cool. Um, autograph sticker. Um, here's something I might subscribe to. Uh, Clash of the Cryptids live on Kickstarter. So this is a pretty good cryptid crate. I, I, I really like it. I'm going to actually put this in the back of the book here. Just kind of move it on. in the book. That's pretty cool. I'll read this. Um, who's this by? Uh, Ferris Strauss Giro, New York is the publisher. And it was published 2018. Let's see what's the first. One thing I learned when I was in college, under, or community college, I thought I was going to be a writer, was uh, open up to a random page and read. Amelia clicked the control and hand-drawn pictures of Nessie glowing on the screen. The monster looked like a long serpent with multiple humps sprouting out of the water. Not bad. Look forward to reading this. It'll be fun to read with my son. So yeah. Catch you guys later. Tight lines. <laughs>